good evening to all the participants it's my privilege to welcome you all for the five days international level online fdp on unveiling emerging trends in artificial intelligence and data renaissance today our chief guest is professor shivashankar ramaswamy from international college of digital innovation from chiang mai university thailand now i would like to call rampriya madam for guest profile introduction thank you sir good evening to one and all presenter i extend a warm welcome to all those gathered here for today's fdp session on big data and fintech applications in cross border e-commerce i am delighted to introduce our today's chief guest dr shivashankar ramaswamy lecturer international college of digital innovation chiang mai university thailand who has warmly accepted our invitation to join us today on behalf of our department community i would like to welcome dr shivashankar ramaswamy and thank him taking the time for us today it's a immense pleasure to introduce our today's chief guest profile in front of all dr shivashankar ramaswamy has completed bsc in vivekananda college gurukulam in vivekananda college gurukulam madurai kamarajar university tamil nadu at the year of 2005 then mca in gandhigram rural university tamil nadu at the year of 2008 he received his doctorate from gandhigram rural university tamil nadu in 2015 his key research area includes image processing cross border e-commerce sustainable development forest fire detection technologies and policies he has published about 20 articles in various reputed journals i am confident that this interaction with our chief guest will be valuable learning opportunity for all of us once again i welcome you all for today's evening fdp session thanking you all thank you I hand over today's session to our today's speaker, Dr. Shivashankar Ramson, sir. Sir. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Hi, oh, yes, sir. Oh, Your audio, trying... sir. Continue. Sir. Yeah, I'm trying to switch on the camera. I don't know yes, who is I. Sir, Murri, can you try to mute? Okay. Thank you. So, but I'm trying to switch on the camera. It's not working. Is there any process you can do sir, to checking, switch on the sir, camera? Please. Yes, sir. I'm checking, sir. One minute. Yeah, yeah, please. Sir, is it working, sir? Now? No, sir. It's not working. Still, uh, do access to your camera. I'm trying to switch on, but it's not working till now. Sir, sharing option is coming, sir. Sharing option, sir. Yeah, yeah. Sharing as option is available. Yes, sir. Okay, but still the camera is not working. We changed your privileges to uh, presenter, sir. No, till now it's not working, sir. Camera, I mean, camera option is any uh, disabled automatically. I didn't know till now. Okay, 
can you log out and rejoin again sir yeah let me try let me try yes sir yes yes sir thank you sir thank you Hello, sir. Is it working, sir? Now? No, sir. Only sharing option is working. It's not working. You are in the list of presentation only, sir. Yeah. Okay. Let me not waste time. I will start. Yes, sir, we can we can start the session, sir. No. Yes. Yes. That would be better. <clears throat> I'm really sorry for this process it may be some of my mistake so anyway let us go for the session uh, i was also working in mits so i have to thank the mits administration and also uh, hod dr chokanadan and also mca hod dr navin and uh, mba hod's and uh, whoever who is a part of this particular fdp Shiva, well, so welcome, just... Shiva. Welcome, Shiva. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Happy welcome. Thanks Thank for joining you. with us. Uh, I think I don't know something, uh, some technical issue maybe from our side or your side. Uh, camera, yes, I think camera is uh, browser. Is it any possible to? You are joining through team, huh? Yes, sir. Uh, through browser, I'm joining. Usually, MS Teams it will be opening, but today it is not opening. Yeah, sometimes browser, like that camera, a microphone, that will be switch off mode uh, sometimes. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Maybe disabled. Uh? Okay, sir. Otherwise, no problem, Shiva, and uh, no issue. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. No, no, no. I have to ask you, sir. It's my mistake. So I'm really <laughs> nothing, sorry. Nothing. Next time I will be. Nothing, uh, Shiva. Prepared well. Uh, please, you can proceed, uh, Shiva. No issue. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. you. I mean, uh, whoever present there, uh, I'm sorry for the inconvenience happened on this time. So yeah. let me just go through few. Yeah. Faculties, research scholars, students, all are there. Uh, excellent. So, excellent. Uh, excellent. Yeah. Excellent, sir. yeah. Uh, uh, for everyone, uh, this is our greetings. So let me go to the session. So uh, I'm just telling you one more time. I'm sure that. Uh, Every one of you know the content which I'm sharing you. You might know already 85 percentage. So I'm just sharing the 15 percentage, which the perception of approaching the upcoming cross-border e-commerce and financial applications for the future and how the data or big data is influencing the world for research and also academic and also business perceptions through the world. So um, I used to ask this question to every one of my meetings and also presentations so can you tell me what is this or where is this if anyone know you can chat or you can let me know in audio okay if the audio is enabled Am I having any response in a chat? Okay. Great Wall of China. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. So, uh, so this is what we used to have in our mind. So once we learn, we will be having some properties of the things which we saw and we store it in our mind in a matrix format. So if it is Great Wall of China, there should not be any other temple inside this particular wall. So I have to appreciate that someone opened up and told, told about the wall. So this is our thing. So this place is situated in Kumbhalgarh, Madhya Pradesh, or the end of the Rajasthan. So this was built by Maharana Kumba. So this is the second largest wall in the world. So you can search over it. Again, I'm repeating Kumbhalgarh. Why I'm telling you this? 
So whenever we computer people or IT people, when we are preparing for our future or research, we always depend on or based on the algorithms or the applications for the world. When we little bit go through slowly one by one, again, first time when I see this, I thought the same thing. So when we go through the next level of the world or the applications required for the next five years, we will be slowly moving into financial technologies and also big data for sure. <laughs> don't worry about the algorithms or don't worry about the programming which we are learning. So when we open up our horizon, we will just go through a lot of things. Okay, I'm not even going to exactly talk about the technologies. I won't bore you with the algorithms or programs, but I will tell you how it is affecting Asia particularly for the next five years. So we know cross-border commerce. We know what is e-commerce. What we are going to do for merging them both for the current scenario of the world or the changes happening in the world. So we will be a little bit touching the technologies. I'm sorry for the spelling mistake. A little bit we will be touching big data and we will be going through the India-Asia collaborations through cross-border e-commerce. Okay. Uh, when I am going to talk about big data, let me tell you in other perception, the people who know IoT, Big data is also trying to take a lot of information from all our devices which we are using. For example, except the IoT, I'm just telling you, when we are using mobile phones, when we are talking in the mobiles, when we are sending an email, when we are receiving an email, when we are talking in the meetings, all these words will be stored layer by layer. Imagine now, when we talk about climate, the people are all creating some applications towards climate. When we are talking about environment, when we are caring more about environment, people will try to make more applications on environment. When we are trying to talk about startups, people will always try to look after the startup. What are all the possible startups we can do and so on. Imagine the final thing when we talk about currency, digital currency, digital money transfer, digital business transfers, digital business applications, then people will think about what are all the applications we can do and how we are going to connect them and where we are going to launch them and who will be using it. Now, imagine the communication modes we have in the world. For example, Bluetooth, we have Wi-Fi, we have a simple radio wave technologies, we have simple cable network technologies and also we have electromagnetic wave methods as well. Apart from this, whenever we can be able to send or create our business, we need these methods, for example. Now I'm telling you, as I told you, imagine the IoT, for example, Nowadays, we are using mobile phones for digital transfer or money transfer. Sometimes we use either text as a code. Sometimes we use numbers as a code. Sometimes we use patterns as a code. Sometimes we use our fingerprint as a code. So imagine now we have different technologies. All the technologies are receiving the data from our side it will store or consolidate and it will remove the unwanted data or noise. Then it will update everything in a column for an individual person and it will give to the servers which is doing all the application processing. Now, imagine an email or a, imagine a text message when you are typing to a businessman. Again, I'm telling you, imagine a simple message when we are typing it to a businessman. We will be very careful when we are typing an email to a businessman or a higher official. We will recheck one or two times whether did we used any unwanted terms in it. And also when we are talking to our friends, we won't care about the cleaning the messages or even there is a problem. We will say hey, I'm sorry, there was a small mistake in the message. Please don't take it as a serious issue. So when we are dealing a business, when we are dealing official things, we will be very careful. 
we have to know what is the matrix or a data which we are using in the email what is the content we are using for example the time should be having a clarity which platform i am sharing the money there should be a clarity why i am sending the money there should be a clarity when i am sending the money which minute the money is transferred slowly now imagine a digital money transfer from your side those things have a lot of data for example which bank i am sending money from which bank the money is being received what is the account number what is the branch code what is the country code how much i am sending money what is the currency which i am sending money there is a option also in transferring the money called as a note imagine a very simple money transfer now you are sending a school fee or a college fee or a exam fee so you will be giving your student id or we will be giving our staff id to pay a particular fee or imagine we are sending a money to the conference we will be giving our paper id or a article id to pay the fee and we will say indian rupee i am paying from this particular bank so they will be receiving with the indian money there will be transfer also will be happening so for the conference they won't care about which bank you are sending how much money it is received whether it is received with a paper id or not name email id phone number they will take all those data so now i am slowly imagine other angle of perceptions your parents didn't care about your student id your parents didn't care about your bank account balance but imagine when you are doing online shopping the online shopping platform will think about how much balance you are having in the bank account whether it is being transferred properly to the particular product which you are buying in the college or in universities they will care about your student id and they won't care about your bank balance so every area the platform will be different the requirement will be different the expectation will be different the communication mode will be different so you will be using a different application for different communication process and also different people also let me go to the next silly question i hope you might some of you might know the logo which is given down in this page can you say which logo is this can anyone say what is the logo in this particular page so the slide is not changed but i'm changing uh, is it visible no sir only because the great wall of china please reshare the ppt again sir uh, now now visible sir yes yes is it visible now yes sir visible yes sir, sir yes sir oh my god so i'm sorry really sir, i was changing sir it is visible but you can you can you can use slide show sir full screen mode okay i'm using full screen now is it okay no sir oh my god you just to share your entire window okay 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 enter screen okay is it visible now yes, yes sir visible full screen yes, mode sir, also yes, sir. now it works i'm sorry because this was the previous slide is this visible how the data yes, is migrated yes, okay sir, now it is visible okay okay so this was the previous one which i told how the data is being processed cleaned and stored for the financial activities now uh, this is the logo i didn't want to waste the time logo uh, i hope uh, you know this this is telegram thank you so much thank you so much i didn't know who is it i will thank you later but the device which is uh, given above is also a telegram device a traditional telegram device which was you used in yeah so 
they have a code for all the activities once upon a time every letter will have a code for example 26 words they have different codes so they will use that particular code for sharing the messages now for current scenarios we are using ascii for code for a normal transition in computer science so let me go to how the financial activities are changed from one area to another area whenever we have a different format of computers in the past so the financial activities try to have a less data for example before 2000 or before um, at the stage of 1980 or 1990 they used to have a i'm just giving an example they used to have a date for a data for example dd for date mm for month yy for year i hope some of you might heard i mean your teachers will well know well aware of this there was a problem called as y2k problem the problem is very simple all the banks or computerized bank in europe and us they faced a problem that they didn't know how to add two zeros or they didn't know how to convert the year and year format in the banking sector for example imagine year 2000 previously it was like 98 99 and it should be 2000 but they didn't have a four digit so they plainly give us a 00 if they give 00 the many computers go for restart from 1900 so they recruit more asians to convert all their accounts i mean the physical accounts to computerized account with the format extra format now i will give you one more info example once upon a time our mobile uh, sorry our phone numbers will be starting with the only three digit then they extend to four and five digits for example 640 is a normal phone number when they extend it it go for like 4 and 640 and again government say that there are a lot of phone connections in india so we have to again extend so every state they give a different number so for example andhra or karnataka kerala tamil nadu they give a different numbers so for example 241640 2 is for one state 4 and is for a particular district or a connection type 640 is a mobile number when all the mobile i mean sorry phone numbers are converted to mobile number every service provider give their own extension or a wish based extension numbers for example 944 is for bsnl 891 is for airtel 99 for arsel so 918 for airtel so they started to give extension number for the previous telephone numbers into mobile numbers now imagine <coughs> we study number systems we know what is a bit what is a byte what is megabyte what is gigabyte so imagine when they wanted to extend the database they wanted to have a additional data to the existing data for example numerical data now slowly i will give another example to you when we are having a account number in a bank we will be having an account number and we will be having a ifsc code so that is usually called as a swift code so the swift code generation and the swift code logic was driven by united states of america so they started to say if identify the locality for example latitude and longitude of a particular bank and they try to give them the code number of the location country code bank every different bank have a different code for example if it is state bank of india sbin if it is icici icic hdfc hdfc canara bank canb so they started to give the codes like this and also they started to give the location code and you can see your ifsc codes last three digit or first three digits will be connected to your account number as well it is mean that three numbers are given to the particular bank or a branch so slowly all these business processes are interlinked with each other and all the bank accounts are interlinked with each other to send or receive the money 
for the digital transaction world. OK. You will be having a question. Even though if I am not going to send money to other country, even though I'm not going to receive money from other country, why should I follow this particular process? This is the usually we used to have this particular logic in our mind. Slowly, I will tell you once upon a time, the services which we are availing, for example, imagine a normal telephone and the digital telephone. I mean the conversion of digital telephone. We know that we are not going to use radio waves or microelectric uh, radio. I mean, sorry, electromagnetic waves for our communication. If we wanted to have this service, we should follow the government data transfer logic and also data transfer size. Again, I'm reminding you, if I am not wrong, you might remember the telephone, basic telephone which we can use on a phone calls. Secondary, we started to have a pager technology. If I am not wrong, some of you might know it. The pager will use only text messages. Then people came to know that the Motorola actually they started. Why can't we combine both do the telephone calls also and also text messages also? Why can't we combine both? So they combine both and they give a mobile phone to the world. And slowly they started to say that anyone who is availing this mobile phone should comes under a government radar. Again, I'm repeating you. If someone is buying a mobile phone, they should come under a government radar. Why? Because every government accepted one point that if there is any transaction in the world that should be comes under a government radar and the data which they are sharing should be known to the government. I mean, given to the government. So this comes under a rule called as TRAI rules. Troy. When you have time, just go through it. What is it? Now I'm going to the next level. We will be having the first I was talking about technologies. Now I'm slowly bringing you into business sector slowly. Imagine we have a different scales in our life. For example, we have a different products in our life. Once upon a time, we exchanged products. Equal exchanged product and slowly we came to have a, a common thing called as a currency or a money for buying a product or selling a product. The values are almost changing day by day according to the current hold of gold in every country. I mean auditable gold in every country. Luckily, Indians are good in buying gold and having them in their house for a long time. Our currency is still stable for a long time compared to many other countries in the world. And individual Indians are working much and they are trying to save and they are balancing their life. That balancing method is also giving a currency value to our country. So when you have time, slowly read about inflation and deflation. What, what are all the parameters behind it? Now let me go to the next one. Imagine we have too many technologies or concept around us in the past. We used to get a lot of data and data types. And also we can give data and data types to the different people through the different mode, for example. Now imagine when we wanted to do a calculation, we had a different mode of a machine. When we want to just listen, serial listening, we used to have a radio. When we want to have a simple printout or a document, we had a typewriter. Again, mono communication devices such as TV and radio and mono communication devices or communication papers such as new newspapers we have been using. I hope you remember walkie talkie, which is held by policemen or army. It is like a semi serial communication devices. Only one person can communicate at a time and he have to lock and another person can communicate. 
So in phone, they removed all these things. Anyone can talk, both can listen at a time. All these technologies are now slowly in the mobile phones. Tab, lab. We have many technologies or many applications in single mobile phone. To change our course of money transfer for Asia. I didn't want to focus on all over the world, but I'm talking about Asia. So let me give you an example and I will ask you a simple question. When one technology is giving one product for a one utilization, there are some technologies which is giving different product for a different utilization under a different circumstances with a single standard. For example, imagine a motorbike which is produced by a company which have a standard which go through a quality check which is used for only transport. Now imagine, actually I'm not supporting Apple. I never buy Apple products, but I'm just telling you there are some companies in the world they are creating different machines for a particular process they make you to buy their product they show their quality they make you to buy for example a tab a watch even a charger even a headphone even a data cable even the computer everything which can only connect it to their own devices and I'm just giving you a simple pattern. If you have an Apple or if you have a Samsung, you cannot connect them by a cable or a simple Bluetooth connection. They have a different bus network within them and data transfer method within them. But slowly, for example, I hope you know a country named as Israel. They started to find an application which we are using nowadays called as a WhatsApp. They found a method how to transfer the data when there is a network, I mean internet, and which can be stored in any computer, which can be downloaded by any computer or a mobile. They have to download it and they give a common data transfer system. Now imagine slowly I will connect the technologies and also business communication. Now imagine if that common data transfer system can transfer the data. Nowadays, digital money is purely a data which gives a logic information of transferring a data from one device or a one account to another. So slowly they started to move this method to multiple mode. OK, I will tell you what are all the mode application they started to give it to all over the world for free but again i'm telling you with a condition every six months data will be shared to the government without any hesitation if you want to delete your data it may be deleted from our device but that whatever data we typed it is already with the government we can delete for our satisfaction but it will be with the government why it is happening why these conditions are given because we have almost 196 approved countries in the world all the people are communicating all the people or all the leaders come into a single line that is reduce terrorism okay how to reduce terrorism now i'm not going into politics i'm just telling the technologies if you want to reduce the terrorism, you have to reduce the weapon trades or a weapon sales. That is one process. And communication, which is related to weapon. And if someone is communicating for a violence, if someone is communicating for a war or a conflict, they have to know and they have to try to stop it, at least try to stop it. All these things comes behind a particular parameter, which is called as a global peace index. So wherever there is a problem inside our country or even our village, which is affecting our global peace index of our own country. Even if we have a simple road fight or a traffic fight in our town, if it is recorded in police station, 
we are also part of a reduction of global peace index value for our country okay shiva do you think global peace index will relate to business 100% sure i will explain you singapore didn't have any very big valuable things in their country they didn't have minerals they didn't have mountain they didn't have rivers but they didn't have any fight inside singapore there are no conflicts inside singapore imagine any other country who are having a global peace index or a business index in a high ranking they may not have a conflicts inside their country i'm just telling you slowly when a country having a conflict the business people won't invest in that particular country the business people won't try to purchase any application or a product in their country so this is how a simple conflict may affect the business directly as well now imagine if there is a problem people won't go to that place also so the tourism will be reduced business meetings will be reduced investments will be reduced the people won't come for business meetings or stay or live or giving any other opportunity to that country i hope now you understand how the data is being shared through the world and how a simple data can also confuse the people's mindset from other perspective angle of the different people in the world imagine if there is an image that okay india is a peaceful country people will start to come to india to see all the tourism places if someone say that india is not a peaceful country people won't come here for tourism also to invest also to for, come for a business meeting or any other process as well imagine the tourist big tourist countries i mean tourist destinations such for example you can have anything in your mind they won't have a local conflicts in there and police or army keep very peace attention over there now <clears throat> let me go to the next level we have our internet and we have our own lifestyle as i told you internet will collect all the data from you even a single violation of a traffic single violation of your internet utilization single violation of a particular product sales or purchase or utilization so they will change everything and they will observe everything and they will give this overall data to the government and government will try to reduce the conflict by the feedback of the overall data from the every company or every applications okay now imagine if you are happy with your banking you will be doing more banking transactions if you are happy with your town and you will be trying to work for your town longer if you are happy with the rules and uh, process in your country you will work more dedicatedly towards the nation or so on if you are happy with the applications which you are using you will be use that application more for multiple things for example if i have to send a receipt or a slip i can either use whatsapp i can either use internet or i can use email id or i can use any other application which is very close to the particular person now imagine communication is also made through the internet application or financial applications payment can also done through financial and uh, mobile applications receipt or evidence can also be shared and if there is tracking possibility that is also being used in mobile or fintech based applications now i hope some of you are using phone pay application or beam app or any other payment interfaces for your regular activity let me go through the next one <coughs> i mean um, can you see see the slides is it visible till now is yes, it okay? sir visible sir thank you thank you thank you just want to cross check okay imagine when we order a product in the online online application so we read all the information and we also see where the product is being manufactured who is packing the product 
who is delivering the product when it will reach to me what is the quality expectations i can expect from a particular product what is the price either i can pay through credit card i can pay through phone pay or i can even get on a cash on delivery option as well now again i'm telling you imagine how many people are working behind it how many communications are being made imagine in amazon i just order a simple watch a wrist watch i have lot of options imagine the options which we have now we have different filter filter for quality filter for domestic product filter for international brand filter for price filter for review also again i'm telling you after the covid pandemic people started to expect people i mean the people like you started to expect more information of that product what is the dimension of the watch what is the weight of the watch how i can charge the watch what is the color of the watch what is the material made up of and they won't trust the company they will look for all the reviews the reviews may be in english or your regional language they will see okay how many reviews are original review how many reviews are made up or make up based reviews even company can hire some 10 or 20 people they can say wonderful watch extraordinary watch but you can identify what is the original review given by a regional person or a regional people for example some people will give the watch is worthy i use this watch for playing or i use this watch when i am going to office i use this watch when i am traveling so you can see what is the original review what is your age what is your mindset whether the price is worthy or not what is the size of the watch originally what is the weight of the watch originally is it very optimal for me when i buy that particular watch so you have a lot of choices of deciding on a particular product this is what financial technology based applications are providing to us with a lot of data behind it i told you already data may be with a multi dimensional data for example text will be given there images will be given there video may be given there even a smiley happy smiley sad smiley angry smiley these are all also nowadays a part of multimedia so these many data we have nowadays okay not only about product there are original reviews for the application itself for example even amazon app when you are trying to download you have a option that is amazon is worthy to have in your mobile or not or uh, flipkart is worthy to have it in my mobile or not or ebay or alibaba whether it is worthy to have that in my mobile and many of your friends may also say hey, if you download this app you will be having a extra coupon or a discount coupon or when the festivals are coming they will give a free delivery so when you extra pay they will give a prime process like they will deliver within a week or they can give a extra video they can give a extra book so lot of informations are given to you for doing their business towards your home now imagine i will move more towards the asia or india asian relationship or a cross border commerce now imagine as i told you already when we have a product inside our city inside our town uh, we always used to discuss this process when we were in madanapalli many of the staff and also many of the students used to discuss this we have very good tomato we have very good chili are we exporting them to abroad do we have any channel to export to abroad for sure but we must have a storage unit cold storage unit to not destroy the tomato and we have to know how to preserve the tomato process or the tomatoes the material or the minerals which which is having in that particular tomato without losing the taste then 
we have to find out where is the demand for tomato for example i'm telling you once you go out of your town you will know what is the impact of onion and tomato in your life once you out of your town someday you will know then there are many countries which is looking for the vegetables which they cannot produce in their country so they will look they will have a demand and they will order these many tons or these many kilos then we have to go for a quality checking and we have to find out what is the transport mode from our town to a harbor harbor or a airport which one is a cheaper one which one is the best to one we choose it then we go for again the next level of financial technology if i am going to communicate with the customer i have to make sure whether the customer is a true one or a fake one so i have to ask the bank to check his bank account also or ask for his bank balance statement when we are going to export a particular product we have to make sure here the financial technologies are useful there are method called as balance transfer and credit transfer so we will approach the customer and customer have to say that okay you can freeze for example 1 lakh in my bank account and we will be having a credit transfer agreement means for example me imagine me shiva is sending 1 ton of tomato to canada or 1 ton of tomato to russia okay now we have to make sure the customers confirmed and if there is any other indian or any other friend is there they can also do the same thing first the bank will exchange the information we have to approach our bank and our bank will say whether the customer's bank account is original or not then they will say the bank will communicate for you and the bank will say shall i freeze 1 lakh in your account the customer will give the confirmation and they will freeze 1 lakh and we will have an agreement once that particular patch or a consignment reach russia when he is satisfied then he will release the next amount or that particular 100000 and the agreement will be made very clearly in a financial mode if the container is having 1 ton if the this is the expected rate of the tomatoes quality or tomato ketchup or tomato juice whatever you decide you will say the particular consignments features then the people in russia they will say that i have a chemist i have a inspector he will check the consignment we will be having a chemist in vizag or we will be having a chemist in thootukudi they will also check the particular features so this certificate will also go with the consignment and uh, when the when it reach russia they will check with their chemist and they will say okay the consignment is having these many percentage of trustable material in it and they will release the particular method i hope now you got a simple idea how a simple transfer con consignment is made from one country to another with a mutual agreement again i'm telling you imagine the language which we are using at least three languages we need we need our language and a common language english and also another language either russian or french or chinese imagine the next method we will use our indian currency we will store it in our bank the russian will store their currency in their bank and now india and russia and china they are using their own currency for the transactions they no need us dollar for the exchanges so the exchange rate is reduced so we are saving lot of money for every consignment now how many transactions required the bank will transfer the chemist will give the certificate the date will be confirmed the quality will be checked in our area also and also russian area so imagine how a commerce is dealt within a particular continent within a different language within a different payment method within a different communication applications or email or phone numbers as well now this is how the world is now going on again i'm telling you for the same process how they will know our container very simple information whenever the containers are passing through your town you can see lot of barcodes and lot of uh, letters in it 
So every container will have a country code. They will also have a different code for food products, a different code, automobile product, a different code, cotton, a different code, and also some other minerals, a different code. So they won't use one container for another material. They will use the same container for a same type of transfer of the goods from one country to another. And the container for every continent, it will be different because the climate and the pressure conditions in the sea are different. So they will have a different quality and verification checkup for the containers and also the shipments as well. So they will have a different process for that. Now, <coughs> let me go to even deeper. As I told you, if we have a tomato or if we have a product in Madanapalli or Andhra or Kerala, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, wherever it may be, the product, when we start, the product will be having a price. When it goes to Vizak through lorry service or a train service, the values being upgraded because uh, the customer, I mean, the businessman have to put some money to send the tomato or the product to Vizak Harbor or Tutukudi Harbor in Tamil Nadu or Cochin Harbor or Manglu Harbor. Imagine like this. Now, our, con our consignment or our products will be shipped. Before shipping, there, there is a checkup. Again, we have to pay money. Once it is shipped, it have to travel. Again, I'm telling you, once it is traveling, the taste will be reducing as well. The pressure will be high when it is traveling. So it have to go through a particular channel. For example, if the consignment is going through Andaman or Singapore channel, the price will be less. I mean, the taxation will be less. Imagine, unfortunately, our consignment have to go through Amen. Or if, if it have to go to Panama Canal, the price will be different. I hope you understand. So the Bay of Bengal, Indian Ocean, Gulf of Thailand, South China Sea, Pacific Fleet, these are all different price and they have less conditions. If you are going to Arabic Sea, Amen Trespass, or when we go for Panama or Suez Canal, the price will be higher. I hope you understand now. The transport will also increase the price of the particular product and you will be continuously following it until the consignment reach the particular country. I hope now you understand how many process we have to do as a IT people and also business people. So many IT peoples are working behind this transport and logistics. So now <clears throat> I'm giving an entire just a sill out for you. It will taken from the ship. It will go to the corridor or a harbor. Harbor will be transported to the particular transport when the transport is available. And the transport will take it to the warehouses and the warehouses will find the definite parcel service or a package service or a delivery service and it will reach you finally. Now imagine how many people have to give the data, how many people the data is transferring, how many people the money is transferring. So these many process is going around in and around India and Asia. So for your knowledge, China, second India and third Russia are doing the domestic process service in the high level scale compared to all other countries in the world because of our population and also because of our mineral exchange policies within our country. We are all a little bit open within our country. We didn't have ego within our country. So all these things are possible within our country. I didn't want to state some countries. There are a lot of problems in higher domain countries to trespass one province or a one state to another state. There are a lot of legal issues within many other bigger countries. Interstate communication or interstate goods transfer also. So we should be happy that these many things are happening in our country. OK. Let me come to the next process of commerce and also communication. OK, this is the airport which is in my city where I'm living here. Someday you have to visit there. I welcome you all. Imagine now if you are a pilot, you missed one of your airport 
and when you see this airport and you are approaching this particular airport now i will be little bit touching the technology differences imagine once you enter into the 5 kilometer radius or a 5 mile radius of an airport they will try to communicate you they will say we identify a particular flight or a particular unit or a particular vehicle approaching our airport whom you are they will ask for a state verification as i told you earlier every flight will have a different number as usual country code will be there service provider such as air india indigo decon many airlines will be there they have a specific code and if they are international and domestic they are all different code flight numbers will be there and also pilot will have his own code i mean pilot code like a student id so he will state all the information in english again i'm telling you in english you will be having a question that how the japanese or chinese or french pilots will communicate they will also use the basic english phrases like good morning a b i n d 353 is approaching we need a request to land they will give the information like this air traffic controller they know the basic english phrases they will verify whether is there any real flight is available in this number for example when you try to log in in your email id you will type your email and the internet will give the information to your service provider such as google or yahoo or whatever it may be and google will say yes it is my email id the email id belongs to my service provider or a my mail login providers okay then they will ask why you are coming why and they will say some reason and the reason is seems to be satisfied they will ask them to land and they will say the charges will be applied because you didn't have a parking slot in my airport now i am telling you we all see car parkings and also motorbike parking in a different places likewise every flight should have a parking slot for a particular airports we will be having this mindset you might heard that when air india was taken by tata enterprises tata enterprises also bought all the air traffic regulations and also traffic i mean a parking slot in every airport around the world so they will request to the airports i want a parking slot for my flight and also when the flight reach the particular parking slot every flight should have a service staff airport okay shiva where we are coming here in the financial technologies again i'm telling you wherever the flight is being landed all the financial transactions will be handled in that particular currency only now slowly i'm bringing inside technologies and also money transfer process here when the, when the flight is landed over there the service staff of that particular flight will do their services within a particular time and the airport authority will make sure how many minutes they are taking to clean the particular flight to maintain the particular flight how many minutes or how many days they are going to park there and they will charge everything in their currency only if they didn't have their currency it will be having more value to do the currency exchange process as well now imagine if we are seeing harbors we are seeing flights we are seeing lot of trains and so on things but imagine how many money is involved behind all those transport modes behind all those process in front of us using the communication technologies using the financial technology processing for example every minute when they are staying in my airport what are all the services they are taking from our particular airport this particular image was given by airport authority of thailand which is in i mean from chiang mai international airport now imagine when they are using the runway there will be damages happening usually when they are coming and parking properly what is the speed they are Uh, taking off what is the speed they are landing all these things will be monitored there by the different sensors in the air traffic control tower 
So when they damage the pathway, they will be charging more. When they do very perfect landing, very perfect takeoff, the uh, process will be benefit for the service providers such as the flight aviator companies. Now imagine how many flights are traveling through the world, how many currencies they have to change. Weekly once some flight aviations will pay, sometimes monthly once they will pay, sometimes yearly once they will pay, or some aviation companies pay earlier to avoid the conflict and to have the more parking slot. Now, let us go to the next process. We all know organ processing, I mean organ observing and also processing and also donations. Now, imagine every medical record from us will be stored when there is any need of an operation or a simple service to an individual person hospital will ask for give the information and they will ask us to pay the particular payment method and they will have that particular information in their server let me connect the same thing to the next even a simple automobile when they are using solar, when they are using battery, how much carbon they are saving, how much it is benefit to the nature and how the vehicles are being monitored by GPS methods, how the communications are done in every vehicle towards the government and how many vehicles are used in a particular road how many vehicles are communicated or watched in a toll gate area. So many people think that toll gate is being used for collecting money or to just navigate the people, but toll gate is mainly used for security purposes. So they want to know how many vehicles are crossing in a particular road, how many people are in there, what is the vehicle, what is the state of the vehicle, what is the sound of the vehicle, how much carbon they are emitting. These many sensors are placed in the toll gate area or a toll place also. Now imagine all these things are money. Every process behind this are money and how the government is monitoring them, how the government is going to help the public by having all these data towards the government. So let me skip this since we are getting a little delayed. I'm sorry for that again. <clears throat> if the simple vehicle is being observed by government, imagine now the vehicles and also the missiles, tanks, fleet. I think someone has opened their mic anyway. Please inform them, sir. And OK, imagine every missile, every flight, every tanks are being watched, observed with the GPS locations and also coordinates, particularly submarines. So imagine how many informations to be shared, how many informations to be managed by a government and how the money is transferred for them for their maintenance, how the salary is procured for a soldier who is working on that particular service unit. If and, uh, who is that? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Imagine the soldier when they are working on a particular unit, when they are the wing commander who is working on a flight, the pilots or the a Navy pilots or the naval officers when they are working on a different conditions their payment will be different. When they are in the ground, their payment will be different. When they are in action, their payment will be different. I'm sorry to say this. I hope uh, our major will be having some training in army attachment camps or different camps in his past life and also current life. He might know a lot of informations more than me, but I'm just telling you. There are a lot of operations where uh, not only Indian Army, the entire army around the world are doing. They have to max, make sure that how many missiles they are having, how many are active, how many missiles can fly, how many flights can fly, how many flights are inactive, how the money is uh, managed for the budget. Now I'm just telling you, uh, even though it's uh, open, it's open news, I'm not giving any secret. 
I hope last year there was a missile accidentally fired from India and fell down in Pakistan. Some of you heard no. Luckily, both Indian Army and Pakistan Army, they manage their communication in a very decent and a peaceful way. Pakistan know that missile being launched. They know the coordinate values also. They didn't stop it because they want to make sure that Indian missile come and fall down in the Pakistan area. So I'm sorry to say this, but this is a simple kind of politics, but they casualties in there and Indian Army or Indian defense, they say that it was a miscommunication, misleading information by a mistake in a computer. Imagine now they removed the two officials who are in charge of this missile. That missile was an empty missile, luckily. Imagine the same scenario when every missile will have a number, every missile will be observed by dedicated satellites by the higher level countries and they know where it is exactly falling, what is the casualties, what is the image taken before the missile launch and after the missile launch. And this is one of the simple failure which can be handled by technology also. But another problem, Pakistan won't give that particular missile back because they have to know what is the missile made up of. And they can use back propagation algorithm how the missile is being designed or launched. So every country will be very careful on their technologies and every missile is money. Again, I'm telling you, every missile is a money. Every flight is also money. Every fleet is a money. Buying, it is money. Maintain, it is money. Operation, it's money. Again, destroying is also a money. So imagine how many weapon purchases are handled throughout the world when we are using a proper money and when we are using the proper applications, we can, tra we can trace where the weapon is ordered, where the weapon is manufactured, where the weapon is transferred and who is going to use the weapon and which country they are going to target. I hope you understand now that data comes around behind a simple weapon dealing. Let us go to the war field scenario. Uh, let me not uh, go into deeper, but I'm just telling you every terrain is different terrain. Again, I'm telling you terrain. There will be forest terrain. There will be open ground terrain. There will be desert terrain. There will be river or mountain terrain. There will be snowy terrain. So different terrain needed different communication technologies, different languages, different networking strategies different storage area, different visualization area, different war zone training areas, different weapons for a different terrain. So imagine if a country have a different terrain, for example, India, we have a lot of terrains. Imagine the weapons we have to produce. Imagine the communication devices we have to make. If it is inside the forest, the simple Bluetooth or a simple Wi-Fi cannot work more than three kilometers or two kilometers. And if it is radio wave, it can be identified by someone else. If it is a microelectronic waves, it will be identified by someone else. If it is a cable wire, it can be damaged. Now imagine how many methods we have to deal in here. So for that also, people like us in big data, we have to make sure, uh, for example, simple method in you can talk to the major or you can talk to the officials whom you know. They will talk in a regional language sometimes not even Hindi, some other regional language also. You could have watched cricket matches or IPL matches. Some players will talk in their regional language when they are setting up their fielding or when they want to confuse the opponent batsman or an opponent bowler. So this is a normal data processing where we can use in a different scenario. Now, let me give you an old image. This is very old image. Uh, which was uh, mistakenly given out by the designer. The designer is nothing else who designed the smart watch for the US soldiers who were working in the Afghan airbase, Bagram Afghan airbase. He was uh, tracking up the movements of the soldiers or marines in that particular Afghan airbase. And he say that, see how my digital mobile application is giving the data to the army. He wanted to use this for the advertisement, but 
unfortunately i hope you know that taliban captured the bagram air base this is also one of the reason behind it they know how the air base is made up of they know the in and out of the air base they know the how the soldiers are moving around for example the dark red color soldiers are not moving much they are almost still staying in there the white or yellow color uh, image is the sensor which is given by the watch they are moving faster imagine if you get these kind of information of a airport or a air base or a navy base anyone can easily attack based on the higher availability or the lower availability of the particular place so every every information i hope uh, some of you are using strava application uh, using their uh, smart watches there is an application called as strava that application was taken by the smart watches uh, but for army all this information will be given to the army army can use this information to know the movements of the soldiers in every unit if they see if some soldiers are not moving at all they will give or they will try to engage them in a different work so i hope now you understand slowly how the technologies are changed and how the technologies are used around the world in a different method or a different process so let me skip this particularly okay let me go to the cross border e-commerce process several years ago i mean indians are well known for their sea route capabilities sea naval capabilities and also traveling habits around the world for example there was a person called as uh, yuan swang he was from chengen province china he traveled through uh, tibet and he traveled through the khyber pass and also he come through afghan and also pakistan pass he actually his aim was to come out to see all the minerals vegetables cotton whatever silk and so on throughout the india he came through the india and he collected a lot of informations if i am not wrong i heard from even chinese friends that he collected seven horse i mean he collected a lot of data a lot of scripts which he have to carry through seven or eight horses to back to china means how many notes he might take so that level of notes we have to also take when we wanted to do a business or when we want to go for a job we have to collect the data we have to know the market value we have to know the market demand and supply values and make sure which business i am going to do what is surplus in my province or my town and where is the demand of the same product in some other country or a some other province in india <laughs> then we can supply our product there and we have to find the market we have to find the customer we have to travel and we have to talk to the people and we have to collect the evidence of the reality of the businessman and we have to make sure what is the communication platform what is the money transfer platform what is the evidences we should have what is the agreements to be made which language we are going to write the agreements imagine you might heard a concept called as belt and road initiative you might heard this so this is still going on uh, india didn't deny it but still uh, india st uh, is still working on it and if i am not wrong some of you might heard india is building a road from guwahati which is passing through myanmar which is connecting thailand which is also connecting vietnam so this is in a horizontal way of network from india to vietnam imagine china is doing in a vertical way they are starting from chengdu and they are coming through laos myanmar thailand and they are trying to go to singapore and they want to connect malaysia by hub i mean harbors particularly now imagine if this work finished china wall also wanted to have a harbor in myanmar and also in pakistan that is their process that they can have their own like a rental harbor for their country to have or to have extra harbor for their country's people so the same thing luckily we have a we are a peninsula india is a peninsula we have a lot of harbors we have a lot of airports we have a lot of terrains so once we 
strengthen our harbors when once we strengthen our applications internal application and external applications for example we must have internal applications which to communicate within india we must have an external applications to communicate to the foreign people as well languages should be transferred money mode should be transferred verification system should be there multiple data type documents shall be transferred through the applications since we have whatsapp i am not denying it we have facebook i am not denying it we have email id i am not de denying it still people like us can create some applications which can able to help the internal people for example even a simple website if we open a website when you ask the villagers to come and register in your website we can ask them to give their products to our college itself imagine when madanapalli have a agricultural hub when madanapalli have a cotton hub when the villagers cannot go to any other market they can come to madanapalli they can come to our college they can give their product we can have a cold storage unit we can have a cotton storage unit we can find the demand and we can use our college as a hub and we can transfer the material to another country using the credibility of our college as well we can try as a simple app so other universities the universities which you are seeing here one of my university and chengdu university are doing the same process farmers around our university they will come and give the particular products to our students and our students will have the network with chengdu university or inan university they will ask for the demand okay i need durian fruit i need oranges i need mangoes and china will open a particular logistics near the end of the thailand and they can transfer the logistics through the mekong river so the same thing i am expecting our colleges or universities can also do verification of using but government approval is required we need a separate inspector for our zone or a particular officer for our zone so they can be charge of observing and communicating all this information through the colleges and government will give subsidy and funding and they can give some buildings or funding for building the application verifying the application verifying the credibility of the college and the process which we are doing for inter communication or inter commerce and also outside i mean cross border commerce as well we can try this app in the future okay so i hope you know this so this is the Uh, combination of india and south asian countries south asian countries particularly up to japan so all our harbors are already linked so no need to link no need to have a new link we have already the harbors this uh, belt is a less expensive belt compared to amen strip or a gulf strip or a suez canal strips so we can use the south asia or asian methods uh let me just leave this okay as i told you uh asian association of southeast asian nations like myanmar laos thailand cambodia vietnam philippines brunei malaysia singapore indonesia they are having a very good trade between india and china whatever they need they get usually from india and china and now imagine now we have a beam stack project we are also member of it bay of bengal initiative for multi sectoral technical and economic cooperation so we reduce the tax between these nations nepal bhutan bangladesh myanmar thailand sri lanka we reduce already the tax we increase our export and import process between these countries and we are using our indian currency for these particular nations now let me skip this particular page and i will go to the last few slides i hope you know uniform unified payment interface or unified processing interface both you can say it in any manner many countries started to have that upa transaction method again i'm telling you it is a method it is a concept where uh, all the banks and swift codes are verified as i told you already countries verified all these bank transfer codes and also the people who already being a member of upa they can do the processing using upa because uh, again i'm telling you bank is verified citizenship id is verified uh, your transaction is verified already 
they know what is the bank balance you have. If they request to the bank, bank can give them. Again, I'm telling you, bank can give them your balance. They won't tell your money habits, but they can give the balance if you are doing the cross-border e-commerce process. Okay. What are all the countries using UPA system for international trade? Bhutan, UAE, Nepal, France, UK, Russia, Oman, Qatar, and Sri Lanka are using UPA trade system for their international trade. Not only for India, for other international trade, they started to use it. Okay. Who is using the applications? Again, I'm telling you who is using the application. Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Philippines, Vietnam, Cambodia, Hong Kong, Taiwan, South Korea, and Japan are using the applications, real-time application. They are also downloaded UPA app, and they are using their process only for India, these countries. Very important process. In future, uh, I didn't worry about many other countries, but I am happy that some African countries started to use UPA apps because... Africa is one of the fantastic market in the world. Recently, France tried to thrive through the Africa, but Africa didn't allow. But uh, maybe by our government's initiative, our leader's initiative, Africa started to accept the UPA payment interface for their countries as well. And the important thing is Arab Monetary Fund. I hope you have to learn about Arab Monetary Fund. They had a very good link for past five years with Indian government and they started to accept the UPA uh, transfer process within India and also outside the Asia. And Australia accepted uh, after the G20 visit and Europe, some European countries accepted after the G20 visit. So imagine now, not only UPA will be used by them, this is an indirect approach for us. For example, when we go as a tourist to those countries, we can use our currency in that country using UPA app in a particular selective malls or a selective places. In opposite way, when the tourists from these countries are visiting our country, they no need to exchange the currency to US dollar and to uh, take the currency from their country to come over here. They can use the UPA money. Automatically, their currency will be transferred to Indian money when they are coming and using the UPA transaction in India. Now imagine, indirectly I'm telling you, these countries we can also go without transferring or converting US dollar. We can use our currency in other country. Again, vice versa, these countries members or citizens can also come to India and use their currency as a Indian currency inside India. So I hope now you understand the significance of all these technologies and all these cross-border e-commerce verification through the era and digital era is converting our process much easier or it is giving less effort. I mean, it is reduced our effort and give more clarity on business money transaction. Imagine now, as I told you already, if a tourist can use, imagine the businessman can also use within these countries between India and other countries, and they are also going to use within Asia. Now, if, if this process happened for next five years, our currency value will go high. Our product rates will go reduce slowly, not immediately, it will reduce slowly. So, Almost let me finish my process. As I told you, I'm not, I didn't give you algorithm. I have given you only the perception of an IT person or a business person through the world with the current scenarios. So whatever proposal you are using, whatever applications you are designing for the future, whatever method or business you are designing for the future, please make sure we are having our business with these goals. Reducing the poverty, zero hunger, good health, quality education, gender equality, clean water, affordable and clean energy. I hope uh, the current government will give the solar panels with subsidiary. If I am not wrong, uh, I hope you, we will have that within this year or next year. Decent work on economic growth, infrastructure, industry and innovation, reducing inequalities, sustainable cities and community, and uh, responsible consumption and production. Make sure we are using a lot of natural products for our life and also for our business. And the climate action, we have to fight for sure. We have to plant a lot of trees. We have to reduce utilization of plastics. 
life below the water we are not we should not pollute the water by our waste we have to find out the method to fix the waste so whenever you have any idea or any application to reduce the problems and increase the peace please do it so uh, as i told you already it, it was one of our project <clears throat> we use different technologies to uh, do this project we use wi-fi also we use bluetooth and also we use simple languages to give the warning to the firefighters inside the uh, forest and also army people inside the uh, forest we used only few sentences like uh, for example go straight go left go right in a different languages don't stay there move on from the terrain we have given these uh, informations in a different languages in the northern thailand province so we use a debio nb dev kit for communicating between the modes so this is the project which we have done in the last two years like we launched the sensors like a q2 gas sensor with the android arduino kit and the arduino kit will communicate through the particular dev kit uh, with the wi-fi or a bluetooth method so if there is a fire uh, the sensor will sense the gas and also the light or the temperature and it will give the communication to the base station through the simple application as i told you we are using whatsapp likewise there is an application called as line app every uh, sensor will have a simple sim, sim card it will just give one or zero data it won't give much so if there is a one it is mean that there is a fire in there automatically the alarm will rise move out of your terrain so the army people will look for the fire and they will move out of the terrain so we have given different notes and uh, that particular project was to save not only army people and also it was uh, saving a particular temple which is in chiang mai many farmers from that particular place they supported voluntarily they come and talk to the project team they say what we can do how we can prepare a reservoir and we fix a simple tapes on the like a fire sensor which is in our buildings nowadays so when there is a fire automatically the tape will open uh, the water will flow through the hill so it can reduce the fire spreading speed of that particular temple so many farmers give little bit ideas that uh, if if you sense the fire we can start to uh, plant the banana trees and the jackfruit trees in that particular place again i'm telling you not every technology is 100% computerized not every technology need a 100% knowledge the people who have more experience will give lot of ideas when we are approaching with the right technologies as i told you my part is only 5 or 10 percentage but lot of people had this project become successful so uh, let me just move out and uh, this is the person who is the chief of aerothai and uh, he helped our project and this is our consulate general of india krishna chaitanya rao so he also supported our project in thailand so when you have time please try to visit chiang mai almost they have the same new year as we have they are following the same lunar calendar they have the same belief system the festivals are much colorful than you expect it is meant for a family vacation in that particular place so whatever you see in movies is not real thailand so only one district in thailand represent many places in bollywood movies or uh, different movies in india so thailand is a much uh, sensible place a very religious place very peaceful and very silent place so these are all the places which is in our province when you have time please do visit there so this is the real culture of thailand when you see this is the lana culture which is almost look like our dravidian culture so when you have time try to visit there so thank you so much and uh, sorry for the camera issue and if you have any queries please uh, ask me i will try to respond thank you so much sir for sharing your insights with us today now the session is open to all the participants if you have any doubts you can interact with our resource person or you can post your questions in the chat box please yes yes and uh, thank you for mr kiran for uh, giving responses such as telegram any queries you can ask any crazy questions don't be very serious i'm sorry for the camera issue అందరూ బాగున్నారా
okay i hope uh, yeah, i have any doubts time. please respond with your uh, uh, please respond your doubts with our resource person or use chat box to post your questions any questions any question please don't be very serious you can ask any question okay big data in healthcare as i told you already uh, imagine the pulse rate which we are having and sometimes people used to confuse the healthcare data towards your health okay i will tell you one example every time the pulse rate will be changing in our body honestly speaking when you wake up in the morning the pulse rate will be very less when you have a tea or a coffee sorry when you have a water tea or coffee the pulse rate will change and also the pressure value will also change morning you morning before when you go to bath when you have a very good amount of water the uh, the pressure value will be maintained when you have a uh, enough water every day the pressure value will be maintained imagine now the situations the language which you are speaking the transport which we are having will also change the pressure value in our body but again i'm telling you but when we 100% rely on uh, health care systems in the hospitals sometimes we will get a false data there is a concept called as a false data imagine when we get a bad news our pulse rate will go down it is not mean that our body is not good because of the bad news our body pulse rate goes down imagine when you get a good news when you when you are very happy when you are angry also your pressure will go high that is a natural phenomenon so i'm just giving only ex one example for that imagine eye color eye color we can identify whether the person is tired or enthusiastic based on the eye color and also eye based information our tongue color will change our tongue color will change due to our water in intake and also food intake and uh, salt sweet spicy uh sour different food will give a different pulse rate in our body so once we have to do our own research with our body and also with our culture and with our food style so that will also reflect the healthcare but one thing i'm telling you make sure you are walking regularly and make sure you are following your pulse rate and also your body routinely no please don't depend on anyone try to do some exercises regularly have some physical activity try to join some events uh, to be honest like if i am there i will recommend you to join any sports or ncc activity where it will keep you fit play try to play at least weekly once a week and go for a walk go for trekking and keep yourself cool on any circumstances mark is nothing where you have to gain some knowledge or progress for your future and don't relate your mark or intelligence or brilliance the what is the progress you are doing is more important and particularly try to avoid mobile phones after 12 o'clock means that a lot of online shopping applications are aiming to make you to sleep less and they are giving offers at midnight so try to avoid that particular scenario because surely i'm 100% sure they just know that your uh, nerves will be reduced to control after 12 o'clock even when you fight after 12 o'clock you will fight vigorously you cannot have control and try to avoid communication after midnight to morning 4:30 when you want to use mobile please wake up earlier to be honest i'm telling you wake up like 4:30 or 5 o'clock and use your mobile but 12 o'clock to 4:30 please avoid your mobile phones or using laptops it will directly affect your health and also your psychological value so we can see nowadays for a lot of students or a lot of faculty when they have a lack of sleep uh, their communication will change and their presence of mind will be reducing day by day their reflexes will be reducing so once again i thank you for everyone and i have to thank you all the resource person in other section i have to thank you all the people like kiran anup parthi Dr. S. Sachiraj, I'll be kidding again. And thank you, Vamsi sir, and thank you, Chokran sir. I hope Major sir is here. Sir, sure. uh, sir, we would like to call uh, our Muhammad sir for vote of thanks. Sir. Thank you. Thank Please you. don't exit from the session. Muhammad sir.
Mahasar, your voice is not audible. Mohammed sir. Um, may I thank some people if you permit me to thank? Uh, I mean, actually, yeah, yes. Yeah. Someone is talking, yes. Am I sir. Audible, sir? Yes, sir. Audible now. Yeah, okay. Sir. A very good evening to all. Uh, it gives me an immense pleasure to deliver the vote of thanks for the session to all members assembled here. At the outset, first, I would like to thank our resource person, Dr. Shivashankar Ramasamy, Professor, International College of Digital Innovation, Chiang Mai University, Thailand, for his lecture on big data and applications in cross border commerce. Thanks a lot for giving us a precious time in your busy schedule and providing such useful insights and views related to topics like IoT in war and the battlefields and about UPA significance in uh, CNX. This and all uh, really means a lot to us. We are really enlightened with your knowledge and I thank all the participants for their active participation that made this event fruitful. Once again, I thank uh, one and all present here. Thank you. So thank you, Joa. Thank you so much for joining with us. Any second part. So immediately join with us. Okay, wonderful session. Thank you so much, Joa. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. I have to thank uh, our thank chief patron secretary, Dr. Vijay Baskar Chaudhary, and uh, uh, patron Kiti Nadella, Dr. Yuvraj Karu, and uh, Dr. Chuknadan, sir, Dr. Vamsi Pandi, Dr. Janila. Mr. Vishwanathan and uh, Aisha Nuri as well. So thank you, the participant, for uh, being patient. I'm really, really sorry for my own mistake on the camera issue. So next time, let us meet in face whenever we have time. Thank you once again, everyone. Thank, thank you so much. Sir. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the audience participants. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, sir.